The Great Smoky Mountains are among the oldest mountains in North America, with a hundred species of native trees. And the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is the most visited national park in the United States. No other area of that size can match the park's broad diversity of plants, animals, and invertebrates. But visitors to the park have little idea of the industrial history of this magnificent natural area. So let's go back in time to the incredible story of the Little River Lumber Company. Let's peel back the park's walking trails and winding roads and find American lumberjacks hard at work at the turn of the 20th century. Before the advent of the Little River mechanized enterprise, early lumberjacks cut trees and made lumber using portable mills. The trees they felled were dragged to small portable mills by horse teams. Soon, modern logging and milling operations were introduced. The Little River Company immediately built a railroad from Wallen to Tuckalichi Cove on the edge of the mountains. The railway station at Wallen was a busy one. Hides waited to be delivered on the tannery spur, or side track, and Little River Company trains came in with lumber on its way to Maryville, Knoxville, and other markets beyond. The rugged and steep stream beds and narrow valley bottoms made railway construction difficult, requiring the men to develop novel methods to get the rails up the valleys. The men carefully guided the small first engine on the Little River Railroad, which brought loads of logs down the West Fork on their way to the new mill at Townsend. But from time to time, the same engine, on its way to Wallen with cut lumber, derailed along the Little River and wound up in the drink. Little River Company's management quickly recognized that they needed more motive power, so they ordered a Shea geared engine from the Lima, Ohio Locomotive Works in 1902. Here's an actual Shea catalog from that period. And here's a Shea geared engine model. The Shea geared engines were well suited for the steep and winding roadbed in the mountains, but they were slow and heavy. Here's an unfortunate Shea after having fallen through a timber bridge on the West Fork drainage. Thank you.